233 would-be terrorists walking the streets of Canada. We have a broken system. So this is what happens when you don't do your job. People get into Canada, they come over as refugees or whatever they want. Nobody checks them. <laughs> within four years they get citizenship. And then within months after getting citizenship, this guy went out and tried to uh, do a very nasty uh, sharpie, metal sharpie, stabby attack in Toronto. We're having a big okay. inquiry about this at the moment. It's all going through, it's all over the internet. But let's just listen to what uh, Black Locks reporter said on the radio. And yeah, <laughs> do you agree with what he's saying here? Said there's something, uh, uh, there was an MP to hear from uh, Mississauga Malton. He said, I have constituents who have uh, want to get uh, relatives, kinfolk in, to Canada on a visitor's visa, maybe have a reunion, who knows? Maybe my uncle is a retired constable from the New Delhi Police Department. <laughs> three years, he said. A three year security check on a former New Delhi police officer. But if you just stepped off a plane from a certain Muslim country, uh, after appearing in an ISIS terror video, alleged, alleged terror video involving gruesome torture, then you go from landed immigrant to uh, work permit to refugee status to citizen in what was it five years flat yeah just in that's the incredible when they're asked about it they said well yeah no this is the way our system works the mps were shocked by this there was a quebec mp real for 10. he said you know what i thought the whole point of the hundreds of millions we spend on security screening was to stop these people from getting into the country in the first place i just discovered said the mp that you guys <laughs> let them in and figure it out later. MPs were speechless on this. It's unbelievable. 233 would-be terrorists walking the streets of Canada, all under the radar map of this prime minister, this government, and our professional public service, and our security agency that wanted to get in the United States and wreck havoc in that country. And they were walking freely. We do, and I, I support my friend and colleague, Mr. Motz's assessment. We have a broken system. And I hope to dear God, for the sake of the safety of Canadians, you identify very quickly and robustly where the breakdown happened and fire the individuals who didn't do their job. Exactly. But I don't see anybody getting fired over this. Do you? Do you? Do you really think they're going to do something about this, or do you think, oh, it's oh, well, all they're saying is, oh, it's great that we caught them. <laughs> yeah, apparently it was the the French intelligence or something that that found them and and warned Canada. Canada Canada has many, 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 many extra MPs and people working for the government, but they're doing a worse job than ever before. <laughs> Our Canadians' lives less less important than granting immigration to some some people from some countries folks don't be pooping on the beach simple as that man anyway tell me what you think do we think we should uh, get rid of these guys do you think they should have their citizenship revoked i know well we know trudeau said a canadian is a canadian is a canadian but canadian isn't a canadian if he's going to uh, go around uh, well, unaliving Canadians, is it? So that that's not very Canadian. Anyway, till next time.